Right, so uh, we are coming to the very last talk of our evening. Uh, the speaker will be on Ross, who will tell us about low-level data manipulation and representation and uh, verifying all that. Thanks. Thanks for the introduction. So I'm going to talk about Dargent, a civil bullet for verified data layout refinement. And it is a joint work with Zilin Chen, Liam O'Connor, Gabriel Keller, Craig McLaughlin, Vincent Jackson, and Christine Wiskala, who is here in the, in the room as well. So when you want to develop high insurance systems, um, on the verification side, what you need is to reason about algebraic data types and mathematical functions because it's much simpler than what happens on the implementation side, where you may need, to, for example, to have the data which are um, uh, stored uh, following a custom layout at, at a bit level precision. And, um, I saw the, the instruction, the implementation must be efficient and typically use uh, imperative instructions. So uh, you need to bridge the gap in order to get a, a nice verification um, story. And so what I'm going to talk in this uh, here is about the, the link between the algebraic data type that you reasoned about and the, the bits and, and bytes that you have to uh, store in memory according to a specific layout. And for the, for relating the implementation and the mathematical specification, um, so there is a bunch of related work already and I'm going to focus on Cogent because it comes with a certifying compiler which allows to, to have this refinement. So let me start with a brief introduction to Cogent. So it's a programming language um, which, is, we, which comes with a certifying compiler, so I'm going to explain what that means for building verified lower level systems. So on the verification side, it's, um, it's uh, nice because it's a purely functional programming language. It comes with uh, uniqueness types, which allows for, uh, to, to get rid of uh, garbage collection and uh, allow for destructive updates in, uh, in, in memory. And so it's also uh, suitable for low level, uh, implementing low-level systems um, thanks to these efficient features. And um, the, it comes also with a C4 function interface, so you can plug it into existing code base. The main uh, point of Cogent is that it has a certifying compiler so that produces out of a um, Cogent program so uh, a C program, but also a pure HL functional specification, which is ideal for low effort reasoning. And it also produces it, um, usable proof of refinement between the, the C code and the um, functional specification. And this refinement proof implies memory safety and absence of undefined behavior. Now this is nice, but this only talks about the, the code, but with this you cannot really um, specify how the data types are laid out in memory. So it would be nice if we could just provide a specification of how this type should be, of the cogent type should be laid out in memory, and then the compiler would take care of this for us, and we, we just remain at the abstract level when reasoning or when implementing cogent programs. And this is our extension Dargent. So it's a data layout specification language in which you can so specify the specific layouts for your types. And it comes with uh, formal guarantees. Um, and so the goal is to, to be able to, to uh, represent these algebraic types after compilation as, uh, according to the memory layouts, uh, down to the bit level. So schematically, uh, this is how it works. So you start with a cogent program which manipulates your uh, algebraic data types. Uh, then you can provide a layout, a dozen specification, which is uh, some um, uh, for format from, from, for the data to be uh, stored in memory. And then the compiler will exploit this to produce a C program that will directly manipulate uh, the data according to this uh, layout. So for example, um, this is for example very useful when you want to communicate with devices because they, have, they require a specific uh, format or if you want to implement protocols. And also the main point again is to keep the um, strong formal guarantees. 
So it will also come with some formal uh, easable, easable proofs. So how does compilation work with Dargent? Let's say we have a cogent type here. With a, so this is a record type with a field A. And um, so this, if we do not use Dargent, then this is compiled directly to a C structure with, uh, which directly reflects the, the cogent type. And record operation on this, uh, on this type are going to be compiled directly to C operation on, on this structure. Now if we have Dargent, this type is going to be compiled to just a raw data array. And um, updating and um, getting a field are going to be compiled to calls to uh, getters and setters, which are special uh, operation function generated by the compiler, which follows the specification that you provide uh, with your uh, with Dargent. And it allows you to keep uh, working with uh, algebraic data type in, um, in Cogent. So here is a, an example of it's an except from a power control system uh, implemented uh, originally in C. And this code is actually updating a field in um, device register, updating it with the value scale. So it's uh, putting the, the, the new value scale at the right location using bitwise manipulations. And this kind of code is error prone and hard to, to read. So, but now with Dargent, you can just write a single update of the, of the field. So this is the cogent syntax for updating a field. And it will essentially compile to the C code below, uh, above. But at the level of cogent, you, you will only, you, you, you will not be able to see uh, these low level details. And of course, you also need to provide a layout specification for the, for the, for the device register so that it compiles to the, to the right C code. So here is an extensive example of uh, Dargent specification. So on the left, you have a cogent type, and on the right, uh, a layout that could be applied to, to this type, and below, a graphical representation of uh, the layout. In this type, you have three fields. Uh, the first one is an inline record with two subfields, X and Y have a pointer type and we have a pion type with two constructor x and y, each with its own argument. And now the layout must specify um, the sub layout for each of these fields. So here we have the uh, layout for the inline record. And here we have the, the layout for the variant. And here for the pointer. Now, um, in the layout, you have to specify the size of each component, and they have to match the type. So for example, here we have U32, U16, U8, which are unsigned integers on various uh, bit size. And you, in, the, in the layout, you have to provide um, a matching size. So for example, for U32, it's going to be four bytes, or for a Boolean, it's going to be just one bit. Now you can also specify some offsets. So here, the pointer field is uh, located at the offset of 8 bytes using the keyword at. Then you can also nest the, the offset. So the, all the variant layout here is offsetted by 5 bytes. So it starts here. And for each constructor is also, the argument of each constructor is also offsetted by 1 byte. So this is why the, the layout for the argument of x and y are offsetted here. Uh, compared to the, with respect to the five byte offset. And finally, we have, we, for variants, um, we can, sp we need to specify as well the value of the, of the tag for each constructor. So here it's going to be x, so we do zero for x and one for y. And here it's, uh, it means that it's, this is a, a tag which fits on one bit. Uh, with Dargent, we also support bit fields. So here is an example from a um, um, driver for a CAN controller. So this is a C structure with four fields. The first one is uh, only on 29 bits, and it's followed by three booleans. Uh, in Cogent, so we have extended Cogent to handle this kind of um, specific uh, format. So, uh, so it, namely, we have introduced these new types, new primitive type Q, 
for example, U29, so which means that it's an integer that fits on 29 bits. So now you can represent this kind of uh, structure in, in, with Dargent. And this is useful because uh, actually Cogent relies on um, the library, a library called AutoCores, which embeds uh, Isabel into, uh, sorry, C into Isabel. And this kind of uh, structure is not, of C structure with a customized uh, bit size cannot be, uh, is not supported by, the, by AutoCores. So concretely, when you want to assign a layout to a type, you, are, you must use the, the keyword layout and then provide the layout specification. For this to, to work, to be accepted by the compiler, it must be valid in the sense that it must be well formed. The, the, the blocks of memory should not overlap, for example. And also it should be compatible with the type. So this means that we, in the type system now we have two new sets of inductive rules that, uh, that, we, that we have implemented. Now I'm going to explain how the verification uh, work. So this is the Cogent compiler, which program, okay, here it should be a Cogent program with Dargent. And the new thing now is that the C program relies on generated getters and setters. Uh, the HL functional specification is not affected by Dargent because the goal is to abstract over the low level details. So we don't want to, to, reason, to, to, to reason about uh, layout at this stage. But still we need to extend this, uh, this proof to, to take into account the fact that uh, the C program now is, is, is different since it's rise on getters and setters. So the main thing that changes is that now record types are compiled to raw data arrays and uh, record operations are compiled to uh, generated getters and setters. So of course we need some properties about them in order for the refinement proof to, to, to be completed. In fact, we actually need two, only two um, properties. Um, the first one is that getting a field that you have just set with value A uh, should return a value which is equivalent to, to A. And the second one is that uh, getting, uh, uh, setting a field does not affect the value of any other field. And this is a, these are the only two properties that you need. So. If you, if you provide any implementation of uh, getters and setters that satisfies this, uh, the refinement proof will be complete. So, of course, we want to know more about these getters and setters. We want to know that they, they are compatible with the layout. So, now the, we have extended the, comp the compiler, so it also generates um, uh, uh, more proofs to, to to be confident that actually these getters and setters are doing the right thing. And for these are the two lemmas that are also generated. The setter should not flip any bit which is outside the, um, the layout for the field. And the getter should be, uh, should match the layout. So how do we state that? We have implemented a generic um, getter in, uh, in Isabel that takes as input a uh, data array, a layout, a cogent type, and return a cogent value. And so the property that the, the getter is, the generated getter is going to be uh, correct according to the layout if it if um, uh, agrees with the this generic getter applied to the um, relevant argument. So you need to provide the layout for the field and also its type. So before concluding, um, I just want to mention some related work. So the first thing I want to, to stress is that Cogent is not, a uh, Dargent is not a data description language. Um, so data description language are um, external domain specific languages. The goal is to generate encoders and decoders from a description within this language. But Dargent is, um, is really integrated into a programming language. So it's really an extension to a programming language. So it's integrated completely into the type system. So you have a a layer abstraction, and the goal is to customize the low level behavior of, uh, of your types. And we have also other uh, related work that are also focusing on integrating layouts in the, in, the language, in the language, but none of them provide formal guarantees like Dargent does. On the other hand, we, uh, Dargent does not support uh, yet recursive types of arrays, 
Uh, the reason it being that Cogent does not support it yet, but this is a uh, work in progress. And to conclude, so Dargent is a language that allows you to specify layouts for your algebraic types. So you just provide some, declare some the layouts that you, that you need. And then the, the compiler is going to generate the operation that you need to manipulate this, uh, this data in memory according to the layout. And it will provide a proof that it respects uh, those layouts. And when you are implementing uh, on the implementing side in Cogent or in the, on the verification side, you still operate on the JavaX side. So you still have this abstract uh, viewpoint. And the examples that we have in mind are about systems, systems programming. So you can check our paper. Uh, we have a verified timer driver and a power control system. Thanks for your attention. Yes, thanks a lot, Ambroise. We have, yes, we do have questions. Hello, this is Hovini from Cornell. Uh, so I have a question. Uh, does Cogen support variable length data types? Uh, no, not, no. Actually, we are, there is a, we are also working on um, refinement types that would be, we mail all these kind of things, but currently it's not supported. So currently, uh, all types in Dogen has to be static, uh, has a static fixed length. Yeah. Do you have any other questions? We have a lot of time for questions. Hi, Dmitri. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Dmitri Treitel from the University of Copenhagen. Um, Thanks for the talk. I wondered, you said the regions cannot overlap. Is this also true for variants? No. So you only, uh, for variants, we, we, uh, we, they can overlap for the different constructors, but uh, okay. just if, if for two fields of records, they cannot overlap. So, yeah. Thanks. Adam? Adam Chapala, MIT. Uh, so there's been past work that does verified compilation with linking with data structure implementations in the target language that are proved in various ways. Well, what were the, the main surprises that, that came up with your, your take on that sort of thing where you were generating these particular struct getters and setters? Uh, so, sorry, can you repeat the question? Yeah, there has been past work that does verified compilation that links with data structure implementations in the target language that have been verified. I was just wondering what was the main delta in terms of the key challenges of this work compared to uh, examples like that that have come before? Uh, so, so here we not only uh, verify that the getters and setters are um, correct with respect, with respect to the layout, we also provide, a, so Cogent have this refinement proof from the C, C code to the high level specification. And so with Dargent, we also extend this proof. So we have high level, uh, the, we still have a high level specification of the overall code, not only of the getters and setters. Got it. Um, maybe we can talk offline about similarities of that last part with other projects too. Oh, yeah, sure. We can test Uh, hi, this is Jed Gallini from the University of Cambridge. Uh, I'm curious, did you guys do any work regarding type punning and or uh, casting between layouts? So, you know, same type in layout one to layout two and vice versa? So, yeah, we have looked at application of, of this to, for casting, but the problem is that the semantics of casting is a bit uh, unclear, so. But it, yeah, this is what one, one application that we have in mind. Hi, uh, Stefan Meunier from University of Montreal. Uh, I saw your, your pointer doesn't have any size. Uh, have you looked at oh. stealing bits from... Yes, it's because here we assume the 64 it's architecture, so the pointer, uh, but it, it, it's, configur it's configurable, so you can change the, the architecture and it could be 32 bits. Or, I was thinking uh, of stealing bits. Sorry? Stealing bits per 
for, for, for example, for, for variants that contain a pointer where you can use some of the lower, lower bits that are, oh. because if you know for alignment purposes, you have some zeros. Mm, okay. Um, I don't know, maybe we, should, we can talk about this. Uh. Uh, Jung Xiao from Yale University. So, um, when you support a nested uh, records, um, and uh, what kind of getter set you generate? Do you allow you to get, uh, you know, if you have a nested record, one element will be another record or another tuple? Do you get a pointer to that tuple, or do you, do you support that kind of getter? So, if it's a nested getter, then you. Uh, what you, the getter that we do generate, you will uh, generate the whole uh, nested structure. So this is also some work, some future work that we are considering to be able to access individual subfields without reconstructing the or, or the or the nested structure. So you generate all kinds of get the get the record and also the element. Yeah. It, also, it's because in code, don't you, if you want to get a nested field, you need first to get the the field the there is no primitive uh, nested uh, access to a uh, record, so this is this is also why we we did this way. Uh, so I I also have a question. So in in Rust we have these data layout optimizations on enums where we can use the fact that some values are impossible to store the variant index kind of overlapping with the data, like like an option bool can be done where the, the sum versus none is in the same byte as the, as the true versus false, right? Or a pointer is never null, so an option pointer is just one pointer. Is that something that Argent could, could handle or could be extended to handle? So, yeah, I think it would be nice to have it, but we, it's really like a, a kind of advanced feature in the sense that it would be, for the verification story, it was going to be difficult to to handle. So we would like to first look at um, um, arrays, extending with arrays and uh, recursive types before handling these kind of optimizations. Okay, well then, let's thank our speaker again.